spending a, almost a billion dollars out on the outskirts of town to build a hospital that we just don't need. Stephen Summer with Flagstaff Community First raised enough signatures over the summer to get Proposition 480 on next week's ballot. What that means is that it would reverse the City Council's decision to renovate to Highway Commercial out near our county park, Fort Tut Hill. One of their concerns with the move is Phase 2, which could bring in other businesses. Well, this whole mega development plan, almost a billion dollars, uh, is closely intertwined with the phase two, which is hotels and retail and all sorts of things we had on the outskirts of town. In terms of the location, this is the right location here. NAH says phase two still needs to be approved by city council. The current facility is the only level one trauma center north of Phoenix. NAH says the new facility would provide better health care to northern Arizona's growing population. The first phase would cost $800 million. NAH says they would foot the bill. NAH CEO Dave Cheney says a no vote means they'll have to look outside of Flagstaff to find another place to build. And they say that will delay hospital advancements by years. The no side says there's another solution. We really should be following the 2019 renovation plan which showed that this campus not only could be renovated, but that it has room for expansion if that's ever needed. The last day for people to mail in their ballots was Tuesday of this week, but people can still drop off those ballots on this next Tuesday on election night. Now, I know there's a lot to both of these sides, so we'll have links on our website, azfamily.com, where you can learn more from each side of this argument. Boring and Flagstaff, Mason Carroll for Arizona's Family. Mason, thank you.